So, next item will be the sanding machine. I've uh, got this machine for a whole long time. When I uh, moved out to my first uh, own home, I got this from my parents. That's a while ago. This is a nice piece of cable. We'll go with the PVC wires for the years. recycling sander. I've got a bag here. Still to sort it out. Let's see. Where are the screw holes? A lot of screw holes on this side. Cross shaped screws. Let's see if we can get this in the same shot as the uh, power drill. Your power drill, electric drill, was not that powerful. Too bad. I was thinking this was aluminium. Turns out to be plastics. There she goes. This is some steel. Will we get that out? That is the question. Right. Plastic. Hmm. Will not bother with that. So there was one screw. I think it's this one. Maybe there's some dust on it. Or just can't turn it. So we have to break it a, a little bit, I think. Let's see if we can get this thing opened. Did I forget a screw? I don't know. I don't think so. It says to open up now. Come on, open up. Let's see what's inside. Uh, this will not open up pretty. I guess. Plastic button. Come on. Just open up. I have to think I've unscrewed it totally except for this one but it's not getting out of each other out of each other not getting loose come on we have more screws here no it just has to open up now there it is some brutal force Right, so there's one side, we've got a small spring. Ah, there was the, uh, the handle I just took off on the, so you can uh, switch between normal power and extra power. Right, so we've got some very dusty device, plastics again. And the bottom side is this. And this just broke off when it was uh, sanding. Has to be inside here. This is the so you have the copper engine turning this. But yep, that broke loose. And I think this. It's aluminium, so I have to see how to get this out, because this is turning. I think I need to unscrew this or something. That's a problem for later on. So, we got the operating switch from, uh, from the fixed uh, power source. And this is just really, really Dusty and old. So we get a trigger unit. And some screws. Let's see if we can unscrew that. I guess so. The 
This looks like a brass screw. So that's fun. Yeah, this would be my uh, day job. My main job. I would collect all the uh, different bits. Like the brass screws and stuff like that to melt later on. But like I said before, I don't do it too often. So I will not bother with keeping all the loose pieces. The small pieces. So another box with a speed control on it. Really awesome. I unscrewed it, so now you have to get open somehow. It's so dusty I cannot even see what I'm doing. Ah, some springs, plastic, that was the trigger. I think some aluminium, got some brass pieces again, little brass pieces, that's it, all right. And the uh, most interesting part of the machine is the copper engine, surprise surprise, I've seen this type of engines before. Uh, on the channel of uh, Ralf Maurik, uh, you can see him uh, struggling with this uh, type of engine. So I'm not gonna bother with this one. Just goes to the uh, scrap steel. Too bad because there's some nice copper chunks inside. But the thing what where I'm interested at is this. Here's some copper strains and those can get out quite easy. Uh, I'm going to use a Dremel to grind it away and to push or pull the other stuff out. Don't see a lot of glue. So that's positive. I will uh, cut off the wires. Where's my snipping tool? Oh, here. And I will keep this copper engine together with the other engine. Ah, this was the copper engine from the uh, drilling tool. There's also some, some copper inside, but don't know how to get this copper out. So, this stuff, yeah, maybe we have to grind it all off, but. No. Too much trouble for a little bit of copper. And we have, I guess, some aluminium. Some more wires. A switch. More wires. So there was not much to it, to this device. The sending machine. Yeah, a real small circuit board which has been destroyed now. Some kind of junction box or something, I don't know. The switch switch inside. Alright. So circuit board. We'll get the wires loose and dispose of the circuit board. Alrighty. Don't know, not sure if this is aluminium. Let's see if we can get it out. A lot of dust. No, it's too heavy. Steel. Right, let's get rid of this. Salvage the wires. Get rid of the rest. And we're on to the next item. Yeah, I think we'll keep this with the plain steel as well. 
Let's see if I can get rid of this one. Because this is plastic stuff. Let me see. I think the problem is getting the cap on top of this. No. Yep. That's okay. Next item. Let's go to the next item. <laughs> 